Morning, friends. Hey, happy superhero day. I'm wearing my superhero shirt. Maybe you can wear a superhero shirt or dress up like a superhero today, too. Remember, it doesn't have to be a comic book character superhero. You can have lots of superheroes. You could, your superhero could be your mom or dad. You could dress up like them. It could be someone from history, like a president, or it could be Maria Montessori. It could even be one of our peacemakers from our classroom. That's awesome too. Remember, a superhero could be anybody, okay? Uh, okay, and let's see, what else do we have? We have so much to talk about today. It's uh, Spirit Week, so hopefully you're getting your pictures in from yesterday. It was a uh, dress uh, in purple and yellow, and today is Superhero Today. Tomorrow is going to be take a picture of yourself with uh, your favorite book that you're reading, so you could do that too. Um, let's see, what else do we have? Oh, we're talking about the water cycle, and... We are also, for Practical Life, do you have any of these left over? Yeah? You could make something called deviled eggs. Deviled eggs are super easy to make. The trickiest part is peeling them and cutting them. Yeah. But all you have to do, you guys can do all the work for mixing it up and putting the yolk back in. It makes the yolk way tastier. When I was little, I did not like the yolks because I thought they were dry and yucky. But I tasted them like this when I was little, and it made them smoother and creamier, and it tasted yummy. So have a deviled egg, okay? Mmm. Mmm. Delicious. We're also going to be talking about the water cycle today. Um... I have a song that I want to share with you. I think we've played it in class before, but I can't remember. But we'll do that. And um, you might also enjoy for your field trip, after your field trip, is um, a video about all about the water cycle and how it works. You might enjoy making something called a diorama, or some people call it a 3D model. I made mine out of a box. So I just used an old... Uh, box like an Amazon box but you can use a shoe box um, but I just looked for things around my house that I could make a model of the water cycle with and have all the parts of the water cycle so I found some old construction paper and I found some cotton balls and I used tape and I had some wrapping paper that was kind of uh, blue but here's my 3d water cycle you can see the rain there's the precipitation, back there is the sun and the evaporation, and there's my clouds for the condensation. And it just keeps going around and around. Pretty cool, huh? It didn't take me too long. Um, but you could do that. I would love to see what you guys come up with. I know yours will be a lot fancier than mine, right? I bet you guys can do an awesome job. All right, um, let's get to our song. In this song, there's lots of parts, okay? So it's gonna start out with the wheel of the water. So you can do this when you hear the wheel of the water goes round and round, and then it goes into the parts of the water cycle, okay? So when it says the water, see the vapors rise, you can make your hands go up like this because the vapors go up into the air and then they cloud the skies. This is sign language for clouds. So you could say, see the vapors rise, See them cloud the skies, and then the rain comes down, okay? So you could do rain comes down, and then it says thunder and lightning sound. You can put your hand over your ear, okay? Awesome, and we'll just keep singing it around and around. It's called a round. It has five different parts, so it's kind of tricky. We'll try it, though, okay? Let's see if we can do this. Cloud the skies, see the vapors rise, 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 see the vap
Then we cloud the skies. And rain down. Thunder and lightning sound. Clouds rain down. Thunder and lightning sound. Springs bubble bubble up. Springs bubble bubble up. Springs bubble bubble up. Springs bubble bubble up. song in the comments and then maybe you could listen to it again and try it again maybe you could get your whole family to do a part that would be fun I would love to see that awesome my friends um, let's start our song okay for hello ready hello and how are you hello and how are you hello and how are you how are you today I am fine and I hope you are too I am fine and I hope you are too I am fine and I hope you are too. I am fine today. Smile at me and wave hello. Smile at me and wave hello. Smile at me and wave hello. Wave hello today. Hola y como estas? Hola y como estas? Hola y como estas? Como estas hoy día? Yo estoy bien y como estas tú? Yo estoy bien y como estas tú? Yo estoy bien, ¿y cómo estás tú? ¿Cómo estás hoy día? Nice job, my friends. Okay, hey, let's uh, do our flags. We've got to get our flag out here. Leanne, can you stand up with me? All right. You get your right hand, put it over your heart, and say, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all and let's get our earth flag there we go and take that right hand and put it back over your heart and say i pledge allegiance to the earth and all the life that it supports one planet in our care irreplaceable with sustenance and respect for all nice job Okay, let's check that weather today. What's it gonna do? Yesterday was sunny, but it was a little chilly. A little chilly for me to be outside. Okay, but I put my jacket on and anyway, took the dog for a walk. Okay, so weather bear tells us it's gonna be a little bit warmer, maybe about the same. We might have a little wind, maybe some clouds. So about the same as yesterday. So if we go outside today, we're definitely gonna need a jacket, maybe a hat. There we go. So partly sunny, partly cloudy, and we might have a little wind. Boy, it was windy the other day, wasn't it? There we go. All right, let's see what day it is. Can you do this with me? You ready? Do you remember the Do you remember the sign language for it? Let's see. It's Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Today is Tuesday. Tomorrow is Wednesday. Yesterday was Monday. Domingo, Lunes, Martes, Miércoles, 
jueves, viernes, sábado, domingo, lunes, martes, miércoles, jueves, viernes, sábado, hoy es martes, hoy es martes, today is Tuesday, martes, tomorrow will be Wednesday, miércoles, all right, let's see, let's count the calendar and see what day it is, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. What comes after thirteen? Thirteen, fourteen. You're right. Thirteen, fourteen. There we go. Yesterday was a thirteen, and then we added something. And it became a 14. How many did we add? We started here. We jumped over one. One day. 13 plus one more makes 14. And how do we make a 14? It tells us right here. We have our places, right? Units place, tens place. So we have one 10 bar. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, one ten bar, and one, two, three, four units. Today is Tuesday. Today is Tuesday, April. Let's see, four. 2020 period all right there we go ah, and we have our poems you ready oh did we do hang on did we figure out if this was odd or even we didn't we better do that ready how do we figure out if 14 is odd or even yep, we look at the units place right our units can we count by twos and land on a four? Let's see. Two, four. Yeah, we did. We landed on four. So 14 is even. We can count by twos all the way to 14. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. 10, 12, 14. We landed on a 14, so it's even. Tuesday the 14th is even. Yeah. All right, let's get to our poems. Let's do the spring cheer. I love all the seasons, but springtime is the best. Let's put on our raincoats. Now we are all dressed. In the rain we love to play, and this is what we hear. Pitter patter, pitter patter, that's the season's cheer. I also hear my dog snoring. Do you hear Zoe snoring? I don't know if you can hear it or not, but she is snoring on the bed. <laughs> Shh, you won't tell anyone. All right, April. In April, I will go away to far off Spain or old Bombay and dream about hot soup all day. Oh my, oh once. Oh my, oh twice. Oh my, oh chicken soup with rice. And Clino, it's our new poem from yesterday, isn't it? Clino, reminds me that we need to wash our hands when we go out and when we come back in, right? Mm -hmm. Clino, we wash our hands with the rub, rub, rub. We take a bath with the scrub, scrub, scrub. We take a swim with the glub, glub, glub. Rub, rub, rub. Scrub, scrub, scrub. Glub, glub, glub. Clean-o, clean -o, rub, scrub, glub. Hey, I got through it today. I didn't mess up. <laughs> because rub, scrub, and glub all have the same sound on the end. So they're rhyming sounds, aren't they? Rub, scrub, glub. It's hard to say. It's tricky. It's a tongue twister. And remember, we have... Um, some quick and easy words in this poem. There's the quick and easy word we, W-E, but we're going to add another quick and easy word, 
with. We is in here three times. Let's see if we can count how many times with is in our poem. We wash our hands with W I T H. W I T H. Yeah. We take a bath with W I T H. With. Take a scrub, scrub, scrub. We take a swim with. W-I-T-H, a grub, grub, grub. So with is in there three times as well. So we have two quick and easy words. We and w -i -th. They both start with a w, don't they? W. Nice. All right. Okay, let's see. Oh, I don't have a copy of today's read aloud book, but you are going to get to watch a video and it's a really cool video because the person who wrote the book and drew the pictures, Patricia Palaco, she's reading the book to you on the video. I know. Isn't that cool? It's really her. And I didn't know that this book that she wrote called Thunder Cake it's a true story of when she was a little girl and there was a storm coming and she was kind of scared of the thunder, but her grandma had an idea and her grandma helped her be become not afraid of the thunder and some other things too. But yeah, it's a pretty cool story. So I hope you enjoy that. Um, we can learn how to not be afraid of storms and maybe some weather that's not so fun. Um, sometimes in the spring we get some really big storms and the weather people tell us that it's time to go to the basement or it's time to find a safe shelter. And if we were at school, we would, we would practice, wouldn't we? We would go into Mrs. Gatewood's room and remember how we would get duck and cover? Yeah, we would get down on the ground it's good to practice that at your house too. So maybe after you're done reading the story about how little Patricia learned how to not be afraid of storms, you could make up a plan for your house and practice it. So when the people come on the radio or the TV and say, it's time to find a safe shelter, you'll be prepared. I, my, my mom always told me, don't be scared, be prepared. Yeah. So you get the things together that you're going to need for when they do say there might be a bad storm, you'll be ready and you'll know just where to go. You won't have to be afraid and you'll have everything you need right in one spot. That's what we do at Montclair. Okay. You might take a flashlight, some water bottles, maybe even your bicycle helmet. It'll help protect your head. Okay. All right. Well, maybe you can try that and see if you can get all that together. You could even take a picture of it and say, look, I'm prepared, Mrs. Boyd. I know what to do if I hear the sirens, okay? All right, um, keep sending in all your great work. Um, I hope to see some of those water cycles or your deviled eggs. That would be fun. Um, let me know how you like them, okay? I really like deviled eggs way better than those plain hard-boiled eggs. Yep. Um, today's show and share is Cooper and Graham and tomorrow... We got the tag team, the tag team of John and Joey, you're next. Okay, so we're going to be excited to see what John and Joey and Cooper and Graham come up with. Um, have a great, wonderful day. I hope everybody enjoys the field trip and making lots of fun things today. All right, I will see you all tomorrow. Tomorrow is What Are You Reading? So show me what you're reading tomorrow. And I can't wait to see all your superhero pictures, okay? I'll get all of those to Mrs. Cook, all right? I'll see everybody later, and have a wonderful day. Love you guys.